Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we'll be crafting a Schleich halter. I know I already showed you how to make a Schleich halter, but we're gonna be making one like this. Like the actual Schleich halters. So, for this, you'll need thin ribbon, not thick ribbon. Let me show you examples of thick ribbon. Here, some thick ribbon. And then there's this thin ribbon. We need a thin ribbon, not thick ribbon. Jumping rings. You could also use thick ribbon. Pliers. Scissors if I haven't mentioned. And your good old hot glue gun. Okay, let's get started. So, obviously, you want to set your hot glue gun on. And you're also going to get a horse as a model. So, I'm going to quickly grab one of my horses in the yard. And I've got my new track in stallion. Um, if I haven't showed you guys, I'll show you a like birthday haul. Sorry, it's my camera with the buttons there. So I'll show you my birthday haul I got. Actually, while well, we're waiting for my hockey gun to heat up, I'll show you. So I got this little Shetland pony mare. Um, she's really cute. Her name's Butterfly. Um, put it back in the paddock. I also have gotten two new foals. So that's my mare. So. Here, this is Iron Man, my, uh, I think it's, I don't really know, but I'm presuming he is, she, he is a Hanoverian, but I haven't checked the breed just yet. I've also gotten this little Gypsy, Vanner, Philly. I've also got this Tinker, or he can call her Tinker. I got this Tinker Stallion for my birthday. I got this Hanoverian mare, her name, okay, let me tell you their names. This here is Spartacus, Crystal, and that's Iron Man, like I mentioned. This here is, um, Jador, and she's also in my series, and she's also the Hanoverian. Then, I got this Pinto, um, Thoroughbred. This is Hope, and I also got this Trechnophilly, which this one here is called... Her name is Pandycorn. Um, that's not all I got. There's still more. And I also got this little Arabian fall called Title. And that's not... My dad and I built this arena. It's a very small... It's not small. It's quite a large one. We used the, some sticks and we just glued it together. And the gate opened and closes. And also I got this in green grass for my paddocks. So that's a plus side. And now my hot glue gun is on, so I will now go make the halter. And I forgot to mention this Trekna Stallion. His name is Captain America. So, what we're going to do first, things first, is we're going to take our ribbon here. And also, we're going to take our jumping rings to open them up. We're actually going to only need three, so you can take your little jumping ring, like this. Actually, way before we do that, here, let me adjust the camera. There. So, we're going to actually take our ribbon and measure his face, like around up to, just a little bit past the nose. So, around... There. That's a bit too far. Here, like this far past the nose. Which in titles like five centimeters. I don't know, I don't have my ruler with me right now, but um yeah. Around five centimeters or so. This will depends on your horse's nose. So then we're just gonna clip this. There we go. So we got a halter. Well, we got a ribbon, and now we're gonna take our jumping ring here. I don't know if you can see it that well. There, I readjusted it, and you're just gonna little thread it right through like that. Here, like that. And then we're just gonna take your glue gun, and you're just going to put a drop of glue. See, a drop of glue, and fold it over. Press down a bit, and there you go. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and I know you're wondering, oh my gosh, this is going to be too big. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing, and I'll get back to you. 
Oh, yeah, so this is what it looks like. And also, I forgot to mention, you will also need chain. One of the most important ones is chain. So, I've got chain here. I'll give, show you. Okay, so here's the chain. And here is our rope. And literally, you're just going to thread it. I'll even show you. Which, just again, this is actually a really big holder. But that's okay. We can, oh, my gosh. We can tighten it and loosen it. Yeah, so I did paint it because he is re was in really bad condition. But I did paint over his coat white. So he might have a few scratches on it, but that's nothing I can do about it. But I quite like him. Like I said, I think he's really pretty. Now, back to the um, halter here. You're going to hold it like this, which is literally just putting these both, both of these jumping rings together. Like so. And you're just going to take, actually, yeah, you're just going to take your chain here. I'll show you as much as I can. Here. And you're just going to literally thread it right through. See, like so. And then you're going to measure out how much you want it. And uh, you can make your halter bigger or smaller. It depends on. So then you decide, okay, this is good enough. This is long enough for me. I'm going to get a bit shorter, so like this, you're going to grip it, and you're just going to take your pliers, and you're literally just going to cut it, so, here I'll do it, I'm actually going to move the horse up a bit, here I'll try to get as close to the camera as possible, hold on, that's better, Trying to measure it out. And then you're gonna cut it. Well, that one didn't do it. I just need to cut it one more time and cut. So there we go. You're just gonna wanna keep it like that. And now you can take your jumping ring again. Here's the jumping ring. Here. And your pliers. And you're just going to. This is what I like to do here. This is hard, but just you're gonna try to open up your jumping ring. Okay, I'll get back to you once it's open. Okay, guys, so there's a small gap here, which is you're literally just gonna do is you're just gonna take it very carefully and thread a little knot of your chain through there. If not wide enough, you can just put it a bit there. There's one loop. There. So literally you just do that. So if your chain gun through. So it did now so filming, sorry. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's all closed now, and I slip it over my horse's nose. It looks really weird right now. Then, I also forgot to mention, you could take twine. I've actually got a different color, like real twine here. Yeah. Here, this is also what you can use. And you literally see, you can use like string or anything you want. Oh, sure. 
Okay. Sorry, my camera sucks. So you're just gonna literally thread it through and then knot it like this. Oh, for fudge sakes. Okay, I'm gonna just do this off camera quickly because my camera's not cooperating with me today. I'm just gonna literally knot it again. So here, let me try my best. Here. So you literally take a hole like that and you flip it through. If you don't know how to do a knot, maybe watch a video or tutorial how to do it or ask your parents. There, and then you're just going to measure how much you want, and I want around this length. There, I cut it, and now I'm missing one final thing, and this is the ribbon here. I actually have to do the nose band. That's all you're going to need, that, this glue for so This is really easy to make. You decide how far you want. This is actually a really big halter, I just realized. This is for big horses, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly cut this and make it small. Okay, so I just shortened it a bit. So now, like I was saying, yeah, I got stupid hot glue all over me. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to measure a nose band. So, which will be like this long. Depends. I think I'm going to put this on him quickly. Yeah, so I'm just do it a little bit there. It's mainly you want to do it right here, so it's even. So I'll do that. Okay, so I've applied the nose band, which is literally two drops of hot glue on each side, and now you just slip it over the horse's nose and you pull, and there you go. You've got your perfect like halter, and I'll even show a comparison if I just quickly take this off of him. Ugh. And let me just find a way to put this thing on. There. See? And I actually go grab a different horse, which I will show you the comparisons to. I forgot to mention, and I also got this Tennessee Walker mare here. And her name is London. So I'm just going to slip this over her head and pull. And there you have it. A simple, but fun to make. Schleich Holter. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Bye.